Now let's move on to discuss other components of the urinary system, including the ureters and the urinary bladder. The anatomy of the urinary bladder. Surrounding the bladder is the peritoneum, and the thick muscular layer of the bladder is known as the detrusor muscle. There is also a submucosa and mucosa layer that contains fibrous connective tissue. Inside the urinary bladder are rugae or folds. There are also two ureteral openings for where the ureters from the kidneys deliver the urine into the bladder. There is an internal and external urethral orifice and in this image depicting the urinary bladder in the male, the prostate gland. Filtered fluid that's leaving the kidneys is drained from the nephrons into the minor and then major calyx. These finally drain into the renal pelvis. From the renal pelvis the fluid drains into the ureters and eventually to the bladder for storage. The steps and processes of urination. Inside the kidneys, urine is collected by the collecting tubules and delivered to the minor calyx. Between four and five minor calyces deliver the urine into a major calyx, which then leaves the kidney through the ureter. The urine is transported from each kidney through the ureter to the urinary bladder. Inside the bladder, when it's filled, bladder stretch takes place. As the bladder fills, stretch receptors send impulses to the spinal cord and eventually to the cortex for processing. Once the voluntary action of urinating has been initiated, the external urethral sphincter relaxes. This leads to the stimulation that relaxes the internal urethral sphincter. The contraction of the abdominal muscles leads to increase in abdominal pressure which assists in contracting the urinary bladder and expelling urine out of the body. Here's another clinical challenge exam question. Which of the following statements about the composition of urine is not correct? Is it A, that urine is normally yellow in color? B, glucose is normally found in urine in moderate levels? C, urine does not normally contain proteins and red blood cells? D, Urine is made up of 95% or more of water, or E, none of the answers is correct. Here's the answer to this question. This question tests your knowledge of the normal composition and makeup of urine. The correct answer for this question was B. Glucose is normally found in urine in moderate levels is not correct. Because below the level of tubular maximum, there should be little to no glucose in the urine. The anatomy of the ureter. In this cross section of a human ureter, you can see the ureter lumen, which is surrounded by a transitional epithelium, which is also surrounded by a smooth muscle layer. The ureters are muscular tubes that extend from the kidneys for a distance of approximately 30 centimeters. They originate as an extension of the renal pelvis in the kidney and are retroperitoneal and firmly attached to the abdominal wall. The ureters enter the bladder at the ureteral opening. The ureter wall is made up of an inner transitional epithelium, a muscular layer which is made up of both longitudinal and circular bands of smooth muscle, and an outer connective tissue layer. The ureter itself pulses or contracts rhythmically approximately twice a minute or every 30 seconds, and this draws out the urine from the kidneys. From the ureters, the urine is eventually delivered to the urinary bladder. The ureters open into the bladder on the posterior inferior side through the ureteral openings. The bladder can store up to one liter of fluid and can stretch to accommodate increasing urine volume. There are two sphincters under voluntary control. They coordinate the release of urine from the bladder into the urethra. In the male, the bladder is located between the rectum and the symphysis pubis, whereas in the female, the base of the bladder is located inferior to the uterus and anterior to the vagina. At the most inferior point of the bladder is the location of the urethral entrance for urine to exit the bladder and into the urethra. 
The following is a clinical note on renal calculi or kidney stones. Kidney stones are solid crystal aggregates that form in the kidneys and they can lead to a blockage inside the urinary system. The stones can be composed of the following. Calcium oxalate, calcium phosphate, struvite, and uric acid. They're formed due to a number of causes such as an excess minerals in the urine, metabolic disorders, and renal tubular acidosis. Kidney stones can be diagnosed based on symptoms as well as imaging such as an intravenous pilogram or IVP using a radiopaque dye. The treatment for kidney stones depends on the size and location and whether a blockage has occurred. For stones that are too large to pass out of the body, treatment includes the use of stents, ultrasonic breakdown, and surgery. This image depicts a kidney stone located at the tip of an ultrasonic instrument. The muscular wall of the bladder. The bladder contains a mucosa made up of a transitional epithelium and the lamina propria. The next layer is the submucosa, which overlies the main muscle of the bladder, the detrusor muscle. The detrusor muscle is a group of three muscles made up of an inner and outer longitudinal smooth muscle surrounding a layer of circular muscle. The contraction of this muscle leads to the compression of the urinary bladder and the expulsion of urine into the urethra. In the next two slides we'll cover the differences between the male and the female urethra. The urethra extends from the urinary bladder neck to the exterior of the body. Both the histology and path of the urethra differ between males and females. In the male, along the length of the urethra, the histology changes from transitional at the bladder to stratified squamous at the distal end. The external urethral sphincter is located at the point where the urethra passes through the urogenital diaphragm or the floor of the pelvic cavity. The female urethra. The urethra in the female urinary system is shorter in length, between 3 and 5 centimeters, and different in function. The histology of the female urethra is transitional epithelium near the neck of the bladder and stratified squamous epithelium throughout its length. 